is up everybody? Sven Diesel here. We're going to be tying the Solar Clouser and the reason it gets the name Solar is because we're using a product called Solar Flare. This is a Bob Clouser pattern. Uh, just a slight variation on one material. We're going to start with a TP605 Trout uh, uh, Predator uh, hook. This is by A-Rex and we're going to be using Semperfly's wax thread in an 8 on And just as Bob Clouser starts his thread in the, uh, I would argue the three-eighths uh, back from the eye um, section of the shank. We're going to do the same. I'm going to build a little bit of a hump. This helps with placing the eyes and we'll go ahead and snip out our tag in once we built that little hump. Now we're using a large yellow uh, dumbbell eye and I'm just going to do um, about three to five uh, wraps here so that that uh, dumbbell eye is secure and then I'll um, counter with some uh, opposite uh, uh, crisscrosses going over the eye and you can see as you go the one way it turns the eyes um, the way that you're uh, uh, going over and crossing it so to counter that you go the opposite way and some guys do not like to do the over under but basically uh, this is tightening your thread wraps of your uh, cross uh, wraps and you're basically going under the eyes keeping them right up against the uh, the cross wraps and then I'll do a few more over and kind of building a nice thread base. The last thing you want is for, you know, be fishing it and next thing you know your eyes are all crisscross and then you make a durable fly. So um, I don't cheat myself on the uh, thread wraps there. But we'll end our thread with the uh, thread right behind the eyes. I also uh, like to put a little zappa gap on at this point. I'll put a little bit on the top and also a little bit on the bottom. So um, I also um, went down the hook shank all the way. The reason for that is just a little bit of gripping um, for uh, when we secure in our bucktail. So let's go ahead and get this solar flare. This is Pearl um, by uh, Snake River Fly. It's a little bit different than what I like to use. There's the crinkles on. This is a little bit softer, more for uh, streamers, I believe. Uh, but I really like the flowiness of this and I think it complements the bucktail very well. And so I'm just going to grab a little chunk of it and try to, if I've got any extra long fibers, pull them out and restack it. And we're going to use, you know, a good portion primary length of this. I would say 5 eighths is going off the tail at this point. And I will um, go under and secure it with one thread wrap or a couple in the front and then pull that back up and over and secure it again. So basically I doubled that over and we'll do about you know three, four wraps right there behind the eyes. Pull out any fibers that didn't, uh, uh, that might have been too long. And for this we're using, this is uh, some bucktail, some northern bucktail. It's a little bit longer. I think it's called the large version. And these fibers you want to pull from the middle and we're going to basically take a small clump. I always, I still grab too much um, of this bucktail, but uh, I, I just feel like it's, you know, really, really nice. And you want to basically uh, grab it by the tips and get all the smaller fibers out. And then we're going to go ahead and measure this up. And it looks like because we're using a one out hook, we're going to be using almost the full length of this. But I'm going to go ahead and trim these so they're even. And I've got about a half inch here exposed. And we're going to use Bob Clouser's method here of basically pinching it into an oval and then holding it almost at a, a 45 degree to the, the hook eye. And I'll do two wraps and I'm not pulling on the down, but rather I pull on the up. So as I come around that, I'm pulling up. And what that does is it basically keeps it on the top uh, shank, top half shank of the hook. And we'll go ahead and do some nice securing wraps there. And then I'll come behind that bucktail and then do a nice three to five wraps here, really securing that. And then as I pinch this, I'm grabbing that solar flare and I'm going to rib down this uh, shank with even ribs. And then I'll do one full wrap here and then I will rib back up uh, doing kind of crisscross patterns. You could switch your thread to a different color if you have a preference. I haven't noticed a, a difference in putting a hot thread or anything like that. And there is the uh, bottom of our fly. The dumbbell eyes are on the top of the shank, which will cause this to ride hook point up. Now we're going to add a little bit more solar flare. I didn't add a, a lot on the, uh, the initial part, but we're going to do um, maybe about the same clump, maybe a little bit more. And uh, we're going to place this and divide it down with the point so half is on each side 
and I'm just going to tie that in right here in front of the eyes with two or three wraps. And as I do that, then I will fold this back over, dividing it on each side, and then making sure to get about two or three wraps on top of that solar flare so that this kind of lays down. And that kind of creates a little bit of a hump, but I'm not really relying on it to, you know, create more profile and pop up our our complementing buck bucktail color. So we're going to be using chartreuse. Once again, I'm not grabbing from the base. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting these out of the middle. A similar chunk, about half a pencil when you're compressing it, um, maybe two-thirds of a pencil. And we'll go ahead and uh, grab that in about the middle, uh, preen out any of our um, smaller fibers, and we'll go ahead and measure this. And I think we're going to have to do the same. We're going to have to use almost the whole thing. And so we'll just grip it so we got about a half inch exposed. I'll clean up those ends. Um, notice that uh, if I was even doing this in a shorter hook um, size, I would still pre-cut these ends just because um, you don't want to uh, have that flaring bucktail at the front of your fly. Um, this allows you to just get a really nice clean head, not using a ton of thread. I found that if I try and trim them after, I'm using so much thread which isn't a big deal. Um, we're talking, you know, maybe an extra foot or two. Uh, well, not even that. I, I don't even know. It's not really a lot of thread, but I really, really think this is a necessary, um, for this particular fly, the clouser, you should pre-cut these. Um, we'll go ahead and switch our threads out now. I whip finish with a single whip finish, and then we're going to grab a, uh, a hot color. I believe this is chartreuse. And we're going to basically, uh, in order to help this grip the bucktail really well, I'm going to give an even coat of Zappa Gap kind of all the way around. That way when I'm wrapping, it's not going to fall forward or fall back. And that also absorbs into the bucktail, just making it a little bit more durable. So now I'm going to pinch it how I want it. And then with a really good wraps, I'm going to cover everything so it's a nice chartreuse head. And so that could take, you know, one or two passes up or down. Just remember every wrap, you're adding more bulk. I don't like my heads to be super big, you, but you know you can see this is a decent size on the heavier side of the heads. But um, that's also because I used a little bit more bucktail because it is a, you know, a bigger hook. So like on a size, you know, two for example, I wouldn't near have the head that this would be. I'd also use about half the bucktail. So we'll go ahead and whip finish this here, and we're going to apply a nice uh, UV resin uh, coating to this. And that's why I just did a single whip finish. So I'm going to be using Semperfly's uh, NoTac uh, UV. And I'm just going to apply it and work it around using the, um, the tip here. And we'll just pour a nice even, you know, I would say this would be upwards around uh, five to seven drops. And working it into that crack. Uh, so it's going a little bit onto the bucktail, but not a ton. And just mainly primarily getting it right around those eyes. And then I will, once it's smooth and it's about how I like it, I love this uh, uh, UV um, resin because it doesn't really move. Others, as I would let it sit for, uh, you know, that three to five seconds would create a, a drip on the bottom. Whereas this kind of stayed. So I'm a fan. Also, there is no tack, so it's not going to get sticky or non-glossy and have your fingerprints so the federal government can uh, know who you are and who fished that lake. So... That's uh, the uh, Solar Clouser, pretty quick and easy. Um, I really like this. Uh, I always like to double check my eyes are aligned. That is pretty freaking good. It's gonna ride uh, hook point up. Uh, white and chartreuse are some great colors. I added uh, the solar flare instead of some crystal flash, but tie them up to what you like and go ahead and fish them. Bucktail comes in a lot of colors and so is the flash.